Welcome to Yoga with Lauren. We have a 45 minute practice and we're gonna start in our comfortable seats. So finding what feels good. Legs can be crossed. And sitting up nice and tall, bringing the ears back a few inches. Shoulders stacked over ribs. <sighs> ribs over hips. And let your palms just rest on the knees, or if you want to be in a, a state of surrender, palms up. If you want to feel more grounded, palms down. And just spending a few moments here arriving in our body and in our practice. And taking deep, full breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling out the nose or the mouth up to you. Allow the eyes to soften behind the lids. Allow the jaw to relax. And really let your legs just let go intentionally leaving behind the work stuff and just being present for your practice. So envisioning this time as your way to refill your cup physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Notice any tension in the body. Just bringing attention to that part of the body that feels a little tight. Maybe there's some stress. Maybe some anxiety, just noticing what's there without trying to fix it. And taking a deep breath in through the nose and out. And I want you to start to invite what it is you want for today. Or maybe even right now in this moment, what do you need? And inviting that in with your inhale. And exhaling anything that doesn't serve you. We'll just repeat that a few times, being intentional about how we want to feel in this practice and beyond this practice. Acknowledging what's here. You know, maybe it's heaviness, maybe it's overwhelm, or maybe you're peachy keen. But sitting with what's there and honoring that it's there without labeling it as good or bad. And trusting that in our practice today, we're gonna move through whatever shows up and we're gonna make space in our body for what it is we want. Take one last big breath through the nose. Exhale, side out. Nice and luxurious, inhale through the nose. Exhale, side out. Last time, big one, inhale. 
Exhale. And then on your own, taking a nice little neck roll, stretching the neck. You can keep your eyes closed here, but just letting go of any tightness built up throughout the week, even through today. Just moving around. And then find your neutral spine, take your shoulders up, back, and down. Inhaling on the lift, exhaling on the down. Nothing fancy and then reverse. And then start to just roll the wrist, especially if you maybe, well for me, if I'm not doing yoga daily, my wrists start to lose it a little bit. So just rolling it, shaking it out, cool. Inhale, reach the arms up, keeping your shoulders down the back. Exhale, palms down. So invite in what you want on the inhale, on the lift. Exhale, turn the palms down and just move away anything we don't want. Two more, inhale, reach, shoulders stay down, take up space. Exhale, let it go. One more, inhale, reach. Getting big, getting tall. Exhale, palms down. Cool. Reach over to one side and walk the fingertips, keeping the sit bones down. So you don't want to lift the booty up, keep it down. But yeah, pretty much I start every yoga class this way, at least online, because we're all sitting 100 times more. Take the arm back and then bring it back. Opening up, slowly peeling up, inhale, lift your center, careful. Exhale, slowly cascade to the other side, creating space in the rib cage, keeping space between the shoulder and the ear. And then see when we do this again, if you can go a little bit further, inhale, lift up. Exhale, fall to the side. Notice if you actually go deeper. Keep space between the ear and the shoulder, so not. And one more, inhale up. Exhale, fall. And see if you can pull out of the shoulder a little bit more. Good, and then from here, can we curl to the front? Let the head go. Walk your hands forward for a nice little forward fold. Letting the head kind of just loosen up here. Feeling a stretch in the glutes. And then slowly walk it up all the way to seated. Nice. Take one arm across your body, shoulder down, and pull it in. Nice little stretch. If you want to wiggle here, you can. But keep that shoulder away from the ear. Good. Open up, crisscross, and then. Do it the same thing with the other arm. So I'm hugging in the forearm, shoulders away from the ear. Maybe you roll the wrist here. Cool. Then bring the hands to the shoulders. Let's just open up the upper body. Little twist. Keep doing that for a few breaths. Breathing in, breathing out. start to pick up the pace. There we go. Awesome. Shake it out. Let's rock forward to our table. So hands underneath those shoulders, knees underneath those hips, press the feet into the floor. There's about two fists in between my knees right there. And take some cow cats, drop the belly, look up to the sky. Inhale. Open up the body, shoulders back. Exhale, scoop the belly and round in the spine for your cat. So everyone here that I can see knows how to do cow cat. So just do a few on your own. Maybe you wiggle. Maybe you take some little undulations of the torso. 
Take anything the torso needs here. Opening up in the side body. Breathing in, breathing out. Wonderful. Meet me back here and then walk your palms a little more forward, just one more row. And then we're gonna take a handy dandy little hip circle, dropping the hips and then taking it to the side of the mat through child's pose and all the way. Yeah, opening up those hips, waking up the upper body. Breathing in, breathing out. Cool. All right, bring the hands back underneath you. My wrist is feeling it today. All right, all good. Extend your left leg back, toes down. Keep your hips squared off to the floor and flex through that back foot. Press away from the mat. If you feel comfortable, extend the right arm out for a nice little balance here. Draw the navel in. And we're gonna flow three times. Inhale, reach to opposite sides of the room. Exhale, knee to elbow, round in the spine. Good, two more. Inhale, reach. Lengthen, get longer. Exhale, pull it in, knee to elbow. One more, inhale, reach. Exhale. Beautiful, and then relax, shake it out. Good, y'all. We'll do the same thing, other side. Extend right leg back, keep the hips square, toes down. Draw the navel in. Press away from the mat, extend the left arm out. So it's left arm out, right leg out. Let's flow three times. Inhale, reach opposite sides of the room. Exhale, knee to uh, elbow. Two more. Good, pull it in, round in that spine. Beautiful, one more. Exhale, pull it in, hold, and then relax. Shake it out. Extend your left leg back, yep, just like this, and then peel the heel back for a nice little calf stretch. I'm just gonna rock forward and back. Stretching the back of the legs, like a, a baby version of a down dog. So we're peeling the heel back, getting a nice stretch in the Achilles and the calf. And then slowly come back. And let's do the other leg. Extend the right leg out, toes down to the floor. Peel the heel back. Do that a few times. Beautiful, come back. Let's take our first child's pose. Take your knees as wide as the mat, toes to touch, sink the hips back, and walk your paws forward, bringing the forehead to the mat. Peel the heel, peel the hips back towards the heel. We don't know love like we should. Deep breath in and out. Finding a few moments of rest, but stretch as well. And then we're gonna take our child's pose, walk your both your hands to the left side of the mat. Take your right hand on top, and you're gonna stretch that right shoulder girdle as the hips still pull back. So bringing emphasis to the right shoulder blade. Hips are starting to feel this as you sink back towards your heels. Nice, walk your palms towards the right side of the mat. Take your left hand on top and sit back. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And then walk your palms back to center. Walk it closer to you and lift up. Bring your knees back underneath your hips. Meet me in your table again. And let's take two cow cats to reset the body. Inhale, lift. Look up to the sky, yerp. And then exhale, scoop the belly in, look past your thighs. Just like a cat would. One more. 
Inhale, lift up. Exhale, pull the belly in, round. Nice, from here. I'm just gonna face this way so you can see me. We did this in person a lot. Extend one leg out to the side so it's in line with that knee. Press into the knife edge of the foot and rise up. Yeah. So notice where I'm at. Ear over the shoulder, over the hip, over the knee. Extend the arms out to the side. Really reach through the middle finger tips and pull side to side. See what that feels like. And then we're gonna take a nice stretch, turn that palm over towards the leg. Stretching in that side body. Yep, breathe. Inhale, lift up through center. Exhale, take that hand towards the floor. Continue the stretch. Woo, nice. Right through the side body. Exploration, you know. And then inhale, lift up. Cool, come back to your table. Bring the leg back in, shake it out. And we'll do the other side. Extend one leg, the other leg out. Press into the knife edge of the foot. Rise up. So, full foot on the floor. It's in line with this knee. Extend the arms out. Get that alignment. Little dancer stretch. Pulling side to side. And then this hand, turn the palm up. Stretch towards the leg. Peel, peel, peel. Get longer. Breathe. Skate pose. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, palm to the earth. Continue the stretch. Really reach through the side body. Middle finger reaching. Then inhale, lift back up. Wow. Exhale, hands back down to the earth. And then meet me back on your table. Let's take a nice little wrist stretch here. So take the top of your hand down on the mat. Just pull back and see how that feels. Breathing, don't forget to breathe. And then switch, other top of the hand down, and then pull back. It looks like this. And then back. Then walk your fingers out like a little walrus. And then can you bring the fingers towards your, your knees? Yep. And then can you just shift the hips back just a little bit? Just a, ooh, feel that. Breathe, careful. And walk forward and then turn your hands back to normal. Beautiful, tuck the toes underneath your heels. Let's find our nice floating table. Just lift the knees a few inches off the earth. Draw the navel in, nice flat back. Breathing in and breathing out. If you want to intensify, you can extend one leg out. You can lift one leg. If you wanna just play with balance and strength, you can just kind of shift. Or you can take opposite hand as leg. See what that feels like. Fun little way to build heat without doing too much. Woo! And relax, shake it out. Knees together, toes together, sink the hips back. This time, take your arms by your sides and take a few breaths here. Let everything go. Wiggle your head side to side, loosen up any tension. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Nice, slowly drag the fingers underneath you. Press yourself up and walk yourself into our very first plank. Okay, so you can do a full plank. If that doesn't feel good, you can drop the knees to the earth. Yogi's choice. Press away from the mat and just notice what you feel here. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Maybe you rock forward and back on those toes. Mm -hmm. 
and as you rock forward can you drop the knees draw the elbows in half chaturanga slowly lower the elbows back release the feet inhale lift up cobra chest forward shoulders down exhale release back to the floor tuck your toes underneath yourself press back up to plank Good. this time rock to the edges of the feet side to side saying hello to the abdominals woo just rocking side to side you got this and then meet me in your plank then exhale first downward facing dog shift the hips high to the sky and then allow the heels to start to fall shake up your neck and your head loosening up drive the shoulders down the back have a tendency to keep our shoulders right by the ears. Loosen up your head as well. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Walk the dog. Nice, y'all. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Three-legged dog. Lift, lift, lift. Exhale, bring the right foot in between the hands. Pull that right hip crease back. Drop the back knee. You know this. Inhale, reach up. Nice half lunge. Shoulders are down. 90 degree shape in that front leg. Exhale, hands to the floor, let it go. Pick up the back knee, take your nice twist, right arm up to the sky. Lift, lift, lift. Exhale, hands back down to the floor. Step back, downward facing dog, walk the dog. Good, hips high to the sky. Notice what you feel, keep breathing. Here we go, other side. Inhale, lift that left leg up as high as you can. Exhale, bring the left foot in between the hands. Pull the left hip crease back. Drop the right knee. Nice, inhale, rise up. High, cr low crescent lunge. Breathe, shoulders down. Maybe lean forward a little bit. See what you feel in that right hip. Good, y'all. Exhale, hands to the floor. Pick up that back knee. Pick up the left arm. Reach towards the sky for a nice twist. Breathing in, breathing out. Exhale, bring the hands back down to the floor. This time, step back to plank. Yogi's choice, if you want to do a full chaturanga, you can. Or you can skip it and go straight to downward facing dog. Roll through the feet. Walk it out. Beautiful. From here, slowly walk your feet to your hands. All the way up to the top of your mat. Take your feet as wide as the mat. Love doing this. Soft bend in the knees. Reach for your elbows. And ragdoll. Let it go. Let your head be heavy. Shift your weight to your toes and see how that feels. And then soft bend the knees. Slowly roll up, stacking the spine. All the way up. Good, shake it out. Roll out the wrist. Thumbs up if you feel okay. Music's okay, my volume's okay. Okay, cool. Oh, time flies. Time flew today. Great, so we moved with such intentionality and space. I'm gonna take that same intentionality with a sun salutation. Okay, so meet me at the top of the mat. Soft bend in the knees. Turn the palms forward, shoulders down, mountain pose. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more, inhale. Exhale. Here we go, inhale, reach up to the sky, scoop it up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, swan dive all the way down. Let the head go. Inhale, flat back. Hands are the shins or the thighs. Exhale, hands to the floor. Yogi's choice, you can step or hop back to your plank, up to you. And again, Yogi's choice for full chaturanga, or you can take half chaturanga. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Bend the knees, look to the top of your mat, step or hop your feet to your hands. Beautiful, nice flow. Inhale, flat back, shoulders back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands to prayer. Feeling strong, building heat. Let's do that just like that again. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive. Let the head go. All the way. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step or hop back to your plank. Yogi's choice. I'm going to do a half chaturanga, so I'll drop my knees. Do the lower body down. Release. Inhale, lift up cobra or upward facing dog. If you're here in upward facing dog, lift those kneecaps off the floor. Exhale, roll through the feet, downward facing dog. Beautiful, walk it out. Inhale, lift the right leg up nice and high, high, high. Exhale, bring the right foot in between the hands. We're gonna go to warrior one. So what happens here? The back foot turns to a little diagonal and I rise up. Woo. So if you have, I feel like I have tight Achilles. If you do, take it easy here. But when you're in warrior one, your stance can be a little wider. So if I'm here and this doesn't feel good, I can take it wider if I need. Okay, hips are square. Inhale, reach up, press through the, the knife edge of that back foot. Exhale, bring the hands behind you. What's available? Can you clasp your fingers? Pull down, inhale, lift up. We're gonna take humble warrior. Press away from the mat. Exhale, go towards the inside of the thigh, reaching forward, keeping that front knee bent. Ooh, feel that stretch, feel the legs, let the head be loose. Breathe and then inhale, slowly rise up. Ooh. Reach the arms up. Exhale, hands back down, pivot that back foot. Take a twist like we did earlier. Exhale, hands back down. Step back to plank. Yogi's choice, if you wanna add a chaturanga, I'm gonna personally skip it and go to downward facing dog. Walk your dog, shake the head, loosen up the neck. Beautiful, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Here we go, inhale, lift the left leg up as high as you can, keep those hips square. Exhale, bring that left foot in between the hands. Pivot that back foot. Turn the toesies out, drop the heel, rise up, warrior one, left side. Shoulders down. So here in warrior one, your hips are facing the top of the mat. Okay, I feel a deep, deep, deep stretch in my calf and in my Achilles. And make sure your shoulders are down. Then exhale, bring the arms behind you. See if you can clasp your fingers. Pull it down, lift, chest up to the sky. Inhale, lift, exhale, bow forward, inner thigh for humble warrior. Your legs get in a little work here. Feel that, breathe through it. Stay with me, stay present. Then inhale, engage the lower belly, rise up. Oh, legs feel shaky. Release, arms up. Exhale, hands to the floor, turn that back foot so it's parallel and take your nice twist. Breathe. Exhale, hands back down to the floor. Step back to plank. Yogi's choice if you wanna take chaturanga. Bringing in that spring heat, meet me in your downward facing dog. Woo! Shake it out. Nice, and then walk your feet to your hands. Inhale, lengthen, flat back from here. Lengthen, pull the shoulders back. Exhale, bow, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands to prayer. Nice, from here, turn to the wide side of your mat. Thumbs up, are y'all okay? Okay, thank you, that helps. All right, from here. Wide, take up space. 
take it up, take it up. Feet are parallel. Nice big star. Ah! Reach up to the sky. And we're gonna do a pretty basic little move here. I'm gonna take opposite hand to opposite foot. Just gonna do a nice little twist. And then engage through the legs and the belly to come back up to star. Exhale, cross. Cross through the feet. You're engaging the legs here. I feel it in my calves, my inner thighs. Twist. Breathe. You go at your own pace. If this doesn't feel good, you don't have to do the full range. Last one. Cross over to the other leg. Then from here, walk your opposite hand down. And then uncross your arm. Shake your head yes and no. I invite you to take a nice little deep bend here. So just bend the knees, sink the hips back. And then inhale, lift up. And then again, exhale, bend. Deep. And up. Beautiful. Bring your hands forward, heel toe your feet together. And then drop down like a little bird on a branch. Yep. Tuck your beak into your belly. And then let's do a nice little leg balance. I invite you to rise up. Little bird perched. Okay, try to stack shoulders over ribs, over hips. Engage the lower belly. See if you can drop the knees a little more forward. And then just play with balance. Just a little play, yeah. See what happens. Whoa. And then rock forward, release your feet. Mm. Beautiful. Take your knees as wide as the mat. Child's pose. Take a little breather. Deep breath, deep breath out. And then slowly walk your hands in. And then move your legs to the side. And bring your tush to the floor. And then meet me in Dandasana. So legs extended to the front. Like this. Woo. If you know that you may need to bend your knees here to lean forward, you can do that. If not, keep them out. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, press through the feet. Leaning forward, I'm getting a nice stretch in the calves. So I'm reaching as far as I can. And then see what happens here if you rise up, shine your chest forward as the shoulders drive down. Or you can bow here if you'd like. And then slowly rise it up. Yep. Then open up those legs to a nice straddle. Second position, if we're talking in dance terms. Just as wide as you can. Knees and toes towards the sky. This is where a block or a blanket or a pillow works out right here. We're gonna walk forward. We're gonna hinge at the hips. And I feel this in my hip flexor and on the inside of my thighs. So you go as far as you can without judging yourself for how far you can go. Just breathe. And then slowly walk it in. Bring one foot to that inner thigh. Let's reach opposite arm and take a nice little side stretch here. Breathe. Keep that shoulder down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, turn your hips towards the leg. So there's this nice little rotation and then bring yourself down. Sometimes I like to reach for the opposite side of the foot, if that's available for you. 
I got really short legs, so everything's available for me. I think it'd be different if I had longer legs. And feel that nice stretch on the side body, keeping the sit bones into the earth. And slowly peel it up. Nice. And then we're gonna do the same thing, other leg. So open, bring the other foot into the inner thigh. Now we're doing a side stretch. Keep your hips facing front. Take a nice side reach, get longer. Soften in the face, inhale, rise back up. Exhale, turn towards the extended leg and lower down as far as you can. What's available for you? Can you breathe through it? Can you create a little more space in the back? Let the head be loose. And then inhale slowly, walk it up. Cool. Let's finish this part of the sequence with the soles of the feet together. Okay, so it doesn't matter how far or how close, you do what feels good. And then I'm gonna lean forward, my elbows push on the inside of my knees, pushing down, and then I lean as far as I can go. So this is where a block or a bolster underneath your head works as well. See if you can go a little bit deeper, feeling that stretch in the hip flexor. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Inhale, slowly rise up. Yay! Soles of the feet on the floor. Bring the feet in together. Hands underneath the thighs. And let's just get a little bit more into the abdominals. Lean back, you know, in our boat. So meet me here, one leg up or two legs up, up to you, shoulders down. Shine your chest upward, draw the navel in, breathe. Maybe a little shake. I don't do this as often as I used to. And if you wanna go the extra mile today, we can add that little bar twist we used to do, rotating to one side. Yep, and then we're gonna take a lovely Shavasana after this, so. Just saying hello to the lower belly, to the abdominals, to our balance, rocking side to side. Shake is good, losing the balance is good, it's all messages. Ooh, on fire. And back to regular boat. Ooh, lean back, lean back, keep going down, Ooh, and all the way, yes. Wowza, can you hug your knees into your chest, reach for your elbows or your wrists? and rock side to side, letting the head go. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Extend your right leg down, hug your left knee in. Roll that ankle. And then take our lovely supine twist to undo all the work the knee down, look opposite shoulder. Open up in the side body, allow that shoulder to drop. Breathing in, breathing out. Can you let go here? Can you drop the weight? Staying present, giving your body this attention and love. Cool, slowly slither back to your spine and we'll take a reclined figure four. So bring that right foot to the earth, take your left ankle bone on top of the right thigh or simply make a figure. Then lift up that bottom foot. Reach through the opening between the legs, pull that thigh towards you and then use this elbow to push the knee away. Sometimes I actually like to press on it 
as I pull closer to me. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Don't hold your breath. Slowly release. Extend that leg up, shake it out. And here we go, other side. Hug the other knee and extend the other leg out. Roll the ankle, shoulders down. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Here we go, supine twist, opposite hand on top of the knee. Pull it over, cross the body. There we go, and then look opposite direction. Let that shoulder melt. You got this. Breathe. Let it go just a little bit more. And slowly slither back to your spine. And same thing, figure four. So bring the left leg to the earth, right ankle bone to the left thigh, and rise up. Pull that thigh towards you as you push the opposite knee away. Feeling that in the glute. Breathing there, a few more breaths before we take our final pose, Shavasana. Yeah, so pull that thigh towards you a little bit as the opposite knee presses away. Deep breath in, deep breath out before we, we chill out. And slowly release, shake it out. Hug your knees into your chest one last time as I look for this last track. Do any other stretch that you need actually. Yep. And then extend and meet me in your Shavasana. We'll just spend like two minutes here. Take up space. Let the arms and the legs flail out. Drop the shoulders into the floor. Close the eyes. Stay with us here and take a few deep breaths. Acknowledging the body for all that it did and continues to do. Enjoying what it feels like to lay down on the floor. In our homes, loved ones or plants or animals around us. Find a Shavasana that feels good. If you prefer to bring your legs in or have one hand on your heart or your belly, you have that choice as well. Soften around the eyes and the jaw. Maybe crack a smile.
Take a deep breath in and out. Start to wiggle the extremities. Maybe rocking the head left and right. Taking a morning stretch, arms above. And then in your own yogi way, meet me in a fetal position on one side. And then take your time, take your time coming up to meet me how we started. Wakey, wakey, sitting up nice and tall, eyes are closed, place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. Taking a few breaths on your own. Thank yourself for showing up today knowing that when we move our body, we improve our mood, we're more creative, and we increase our ability to see solutions and opportunity. Thank you for letting me guide you in today's practice, sending you love. Namaste.